let's have a nice inbox review of one of Airfix's sort of new tools of the Westland Lynx HMA8 148 scale and that's by Airfix and this particular kit um, has like paints and paint brushes in there and everything you can get um, a Western Lynx which has the Mark 88A and the Mark 90B as well as the HMA8 for around about the £34.99 that's our RP and you could also get the Western Lynx Army AH7 um, and that one's for £29.99 uh, this one is £36.99 now that's our RP um, recommended by Airfix you can get them um, quite a bit cheaper so let's have a look at this kit actually Actually, you know before I've opened up any bags or anything let's just get it out of the box and let's just see what you get in the box before we really take a look at it um, first thing we've got a nice big set of instructions which we'll look at them later they are very complicated to be honest with you um, the decals that we get in here you know nice little set of decals they do say um, they do say printed by cartographer on here so you know we, we don't even have to look at these if it's by cartographer trust me they're the best in the world you will not have any problems we have a nice little color printout no fancy um, kind of glossy paper or anything just standard um, paper a nice color call out for what to paint as well as your decal placements a bit of advertisements with some kind of brochures there and stuff We've also got, with this particular kit, um, a nice little bag full of some polished cement, some acrylic paints, paint brushes. Totally honest, to be honest with you, paint brushes are absolutely rubbish. Uh, we don't really use polished cement these days, and the acrylic paints, well, um, you know, you can use them if you want to, but um, I personally wouldn't. Um, we've also got this little kind of display card where you kind of fold it up and you kind of make a bit of a display and then what we have is one big bag full of all our pieces and what looks like only our clear parts are actually separately bagged inside of this one big bag so that's everything that you get in the kit let's have a closer look at everything in um, this box now um, sadly we've only got markings for one aircraft and that is for the 815th naval air squadron um, 2001 um, and it's nicely in the medium sea grey we've got the call outs for the humble colours here but I mean we can search around the internet to find out you know better medium sea greys and everything but it doesn't look too bad and we've got some nice weapons we can throw on there um, again it's not on a nice glossy paper it's normal kind of printout the decals um, we can have a close look at the decals but they are made by cartographers so there's no need to worry about this at all we do have decals for the instrument display panel and sadly that's all you've got but we'll look at that a bit more later it's kind of got this sort of a nice matte finish but matte gloss it doesn't really matter we're going to seal it in with a gloss coat printed by cartographer as i say so don't worry about them the instructions now the instructions are your usual typical instructions they you know start off with a bit of description about the aircraft or helicopter you're doing um, and then with this particular instructions it starts off straight away what um, configuration do you want um, we've got the counter piracy air sea rescue and the anti-surface warfare so it is kind of nice for them to go there's three different options diff three different configurations pick one now and then follow either a b or c um, so that's kind of a nice little touch but then the instructions start and really the instructions are kind of quite complicated even airfix rates it as skill level four which is their maximum skill level so the, even they're saying this is going to be hard and looking at it it does look quite complicated we've got so many um, different parts to this to go through and we've got to look out for all the different holes for the different configurations for different weapons that we need to drill out here and there lots and lots going on we've got options to have our um, rotors um, unfolded and folded um, as i say all the different weapons 
um, so it is going to be quite complicated it is something you're going to have to take your time and really um, concentrate um, to make sure you get it right uh, and there's going to be lots of little fiddly bits and lots of bits sticking out here and there so it's going to be quite a delicate model as well um, but hopefully you'll get there it looks like you'll get there um, but I might build this actually um, in the future at some point so let's um, let's have a look at a few things as I've already mentioned I've already mentioned these brushes are crap we don't use poly cement anymore we use like um, proper um, you know Tamiya Extreme cement and everything and the paints I've never really touched them or used them now we get four different sprues in this kit we get three sprues of stirring plastic in grey and we get one sprue of um, clear parts now this is our first little sprue we've got here and looking at it um, it does all look quite shall we say nice crisp new which it should do because it is a new mold but we've got so many tiny tiny little pieces which um, are going to be very fiddly as i've already said through the instructions it's going to be quite complicated quite fiddly lots of little different pieces but it all does look very nice crisp and new um, the plastic itself does kind of feel, um, shall we say, big and bulky and quite bendy, which is quite normal for Airfix. Turning it over, ejector pin marks do seem to be in quite nice places, and where you're going to see stuff, they seem to kind of not have the ejector pin marks there either, which is quite good. We've got our seats just over here as well, which um, looking at them, um, they do seem a little bit on the bland side. They could do with maybe a bit of photo etch because those seat belts are a little bit off, but at least you've kind of got seat belts on there. Um, but hopefully, they should build up quite nicely. Um, and that's one sprue. Moving along to our kind of our main sprue, the one where we've got all our. Um, our main kind of structure what you'll notice on the surface detail well first off the surface detail if we have a closer look does look very kind of beautiful actually um, it's not your typical aircraft where you've got recessed rivets and recessed panel lines the actual helicopter has raised rivets so so does this uh, model and it's got recess panel lines where it's due so um, you know you're gonna want to be careful when sanding that you don't take out these rivets right because I mean it's a lot harder to put in a raised rivet than it is to put in a recessed rivet but it does look quite nice and crisp I'm not seeing any major flash going on here and I'm actually noticing some really nice detail I mean this nice um, lots of little diamonds here looks very kind of crisp and I can just imagine that with some nice um, washes and weathering going on with that our tail section here does look rather nicely detailed lots of nice surface detail um, however the one thing I have noticed is in places we have these kind of patches of faded detail right um, so going back to these little diamonds here looking very nice very crisp and then just here you've got this line that goes there and then from that point onwards everything seems to fade right I don't know if you can see that but all those diamonds start to fade and the, the recesses really start to get sh um, le less deep and kind of just fade away and we've also got little patches just here and there on the actual surface detail of our helicopter just here just a little patch there where all the raised rivets just seem to start to fade just little patches I mean it still looks good all generally all round it's just the odd tiny little patch here and there just starts to seem to fade uh, which is a bit of a shame um, but I don't think it's that that bad to be honest I think you can get away with it but it's just a bit of a shame how we get these little bit of fadings of detail so that's one little down point to the kit moving along to our final sprue here we have a bunch of weapons and lots and lots of tiny tiny little pieces um, but the thing of note is just here this is our instrument display panel and it is absolutely blank basically and um, we're gonna have to put um, 
what is it it's the decals they provide you with decals to kind of give us our instrument to display panel which you know isn't very kind of professional you're probably not going to like that so you probably you know you could you, you could get away with it because i mean the decal i mean when did the decals go now if i can just find them i mean they're not that bad i mean they're, they're more detailed than some but you might want to be going out and getting sort of like some sort of photo etched instrument display panel to kind of you know sort that little kind of problem out there um, looking along the weapons look quite good and again it's just generally um, what the whole kit is really it's nice crisp it's new ejector pin marks are, are, are not really a problem the um, there's no flash going on here it's just that instrument display panel is a bit of a pain and we've got a bit of faded detail going on here and there um, so now we come to the last piece which is always a dread for me um, and there's always something manufacturers need to get right and that is the clear parts now looking at these clear parts first impression they do look quite nice and shiny quite nice and crisp right um, I've seen shot shinier. I mean, I would I would polish these up a bit more just to give them that bit more of a shine to them. But on closer inspection, you will see um, maybe with your this could be just a one-off. But normally um, they all seem to have it. I find um, when you see it on one, you see it on the all on the more, and that is that nasty spidering effect. Um, I have talked about this before, and it can be a killer for a model and that is when um, all that our, all our um, little pins here what we cut our little piece off they inject um, the clear plastic in all four of these and when all four of these kind of where it kind of ejects in into the, these four different locations when they come together in the piece that can leave these little spidering lines um, which you probably can't pick up on camera very well but you might just be able to see there's these kind of little um, cobweb lines right I think you can just pick that up on camera uh, and that is something that can't be polished out it can't be sanded out it is in the core of that piece it is there to stay it's not going anywhere the only way to resolve this problem is to go off and spend more money and buy uh, vacuum foam um, kind of parts which that's if they do any or you go off and you kind of use this piece as a mold to then create your own vacuum foamed parts to um, basically make new canopies um, so sadly that is also a downer on the kit but it's not as bad as some kits can be you could just get away with it but it is something that's always going to be there and if you look close enough you will notice it um, no matter how much you polish it up um, but I, I think it's not that bad we can just get away with it and it's on piece 14 13 and our big number one piece here which you probably just see right um, at the bottom there just by the tip of my nail you could just see that kind of um, bit of a bridge shape going on there and there's another one just there as well right um, so sadly it is there but it's not as bad as they can be so we can just about get away with that so that's the whole kit now all nicely reviewed I'll just put this back in its bag to keep them um, nice and safe so overall what can I say well it's a nice new kit from Airfix which um, is very nice um, to see them producing nicer newer kits than they used to do um, all in all it is quite expensive though I mean this is um, £36.99 um, you can get them a lot cheaper than that if you search around so it ain't bad but yeah do you know what I mean this is a very complex kit it's something that's going to keep you uh, busy for quite some time and you know the quality of it generally um, looks really good so I'm definitely going to recommend this even though it's got the little tiny problems here and there the canopy is sort of borderline but I think I can live with that and I, um, I think I can live with a bit of faded detail and you know that instrument display panel but you know generally it is a damn good kit so um, yeah I'm definitely going to recommend it um, so I hope you've enjoyed that inbox review Thank you.